Hi everybody! This video is going to demonstrate how to map assessments to units of competency and their elements or performance criteria. I've already finished creating my assessment task with multiple questions. Please view earlier videos in this series for assistance on completing this. Before beginning our assessment mapping, it is important to understand the different levels of mapping that are available. Training wise, we have qualifications, composed of units, composed of elements, composed of performance criteria. For assessments, we have assessment tasks, composed of assessment questions. Assessment tasks can be mapped to the unit level. Assessment questions can map to unit elements. Finally, assessment questions can also map to specific performance criteria of an element. To begin mapping your assessments, mouse over the Assessments menu and click Assessment Mapping. Once the page is finished loading, we'll have our qualifications displayed on the left and our assessments displayed on the right. As mentioned previously, we cannot link assessments to qualifications. Therefore, we must choose our qualification and drill down into the units by clicking on it. Now, we can map assessments to units via a simple drag and drop. If the map is valid, it will be highlighted green. Note that this is a many-to-many -many relationship. You can map one or more assessments to one or more units. If you wish to map the assessments more specifically, you can click on a unit to drill down into its elements. You may also wish to expand the elements by clicking the down arrow to view the performance criteria. If you try to map the assessment now, you will see that the highlight is red. This comes back to our mapping levels. We must map specific questions to an element. We can do this by clicking the assessment task to view the questions. If we attempt mapping now, you will see that we are able to do so. The number of maps is displayed by the number in the grey circle to the right of each item for both the training column and the assessment column. Clicking this number will filter the opposite column to only display maps. Sometimes, qualifications will display in this list more than once. This is due to incorrect or outdated data on the training.gov website, preventing our integration from processing the data correctly. Choosing either available qualification in the list for your mapping will map correctly for both. In summary, this video has developed concepts surrounding mapping levels and demonstrated how to map assessments to training elements. The following video will cover assessment plans.